and gentlemen, tonight the California Fight League brings you three rounds of lightweight action sponsored by Angel Rock and Sand. First, in the blue corner, weighing in at 154.3 pounds, standing six foot one, hailing out of Aguirre's Fighting Systems, with a record of one and one, introducing Tyler Mendoza. And into the red corner, weighing in at 156.4 pounds. He stands 5 foot 11, hailing from Beaumont, California, making his MMA debut with us here tonight. Here is Tyler Banegi. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the third man in the ring this evening, your referee, Larry Lendless. Okay, guys, remember my commands all the time. Give me a little team fight. Any questions, move on. Any questions, move on. Touch the club. Give me a rock and roll. And we're going to get started here. They both look very anxious. Look at Tyler Benneke. He was shy of being on the ground. He's shooting in. I'm guessing there's some wrestling background there, maybe? I, you know, I talked to him earlier. He said he's freestyle and boxing. Huh. Okay, so we're going to see what we have. Oh, oh beautiful sidekick. That kick. was fantastic. Was that, just, that was like straight out of Taekwondo. Yeah, I was going to say, that's not boxing. I, I think he might have been hiding a few things from you. And Mendoza... Got the body clinch, is trying to pick him up and slam him, but pushed him against the cage instead. Uh, looks like Beniki's working the cage defense, just calmly waiting, not not expending too much energy, he being intelligent. Very in control. Mendoza looking for that and... Uh, Mendoza throwing some good body shots. But the thing is what right now is Mendoza is wasting energy. He's pressing, but he's not doing anything with it. He's not taking anywhere. And you can see Beniki is just sitting there against the cage, calmly waiting, playing the chess game, letting him wear himself out. So Mendoza needs to think about a game plan here because right now nothing's happening and the ref's going to stop it here if they don't do something. You can tell he's looking for positioning and... Uh, Right. There we go. And you can see how he's, he's laying making on Mendoza him. work. He's making and Mendoza work. Mendoza is going to be out of air. <laughs> and he's trying to do he's the standing guillotine. He's trying he's to get his his that guillotine. Don't know if he has it. He's got but it in deep. deep. It's deep. It's deep. He just can't seem to finish it off. Oh, there he goes. Let's see. I can't tell from our point of view. I'm going to look here on the camera. I still can't see it. No. Oh, no. Let's it go. But again, Beniki's just laying there, letting Mendoza wear himself out. And you can see it now. He's going for the double leg. He's reversed it. Mendoza's got his back against the cage. And Beniki trying can't, to pick can't him up. Can't pull it off. Mendoza's camp saying double underhook. There he goes. There, oh, and he's reversed. He's now got the guillotine. But from and that position. Tight. And it's tight. Yeah, it's but tight. Beniki looks like he's getting out. He's got him up against the cage. You, oh, oh saved saved by, the, by bell. the bell. That <laughs> was interesting, you know, because first, Beniki was oh. going for the guillotine, and then Mendoza <laughs> turns it around right at the end, but not enough time to clinch it on. And look at Beniki. Beniki. He, he really does not look exhausted at all. Look at Mendoza. He's breathing hard. He's exerted a lot of energy. Yeah. He, you, you can see the Beniki. <laughs> I, I know I'm saying his name wrong. I hope he forgives me about this. But uh, he's definitely playing the chess game, whereas Mendoza's playing checkers. He's going brute. He's going muscle in there. He's a little bit overexcited. And Beniki's over there just taking his time. If you look at both run. corners, look how relaxed Beniki is as compared to he's breathing, he's breathing pretty heavy over here. Now, now, what would you be telling, Danny, as an experienced coach, what would you be telling Beniki right now? I, I would be telling him to, to, to work, work the takedowns now because he's, he's, he, he's not in any position to be able to, you know, to uh, sprawl out. Sprawl out, exactly. He's a little tired. He's a little winded. He's not going to come as easily. And what would you say advice for Mendoza right now, Lisa? For Mendoza, he needs to fight a little bit smarter. I mean, he's, exer he's exerting a lot of unnecessary energy. Energy. Right. And, uh, you know, Beneke in the red corner is definitely being smart about that. So he's looking for the quick win, and 
you know, so I believe we're going to just see someone have an opportunity and monopolize on that. But Beneke seems a lot more in control, if you seems will. Seems poised. Yeah, I, I like the way he's controlling the distance, and you can see he's dominating his will in the cage. He's determining when they engage, where it goes. And there again, you can see him shooting instead of setting up the shoot, you know? Right. Going directly at his like legs. That's a sign of inexperience. Looks like Mendoza might have been poked in the eye. He's blinking a lot. Well, well Mendoza actually has the most experience out of these two. Uh, Benitez, this is his first time in the cage, but for being his first time in the cage, he seems awfully comfortable. Well, I don't think it's his first time competing. If you're landing spinning sidekicks <laughs> with that accuracy, you there you go, could right. have had nice plenty. Oh, he's got him in the nice side scarf hold, uh, or headlock, actually. Oh. Not, not totally. Looking a little bit tired. This is the first time I've seen Beniki look tired. Uh, Mendoza, again, just pressing him against the cage, but not doing anything with that energy, and that's just wasting energy. He's got to do something. I think Beniki is listening for his corner. He's looking down and just really, really being calculated. He's talking to the ref here like, what's going to happen? Nothing's happening here. So I guess they're waiting for it to just break it and start it over again. Yep, that's exactly go. what he was doing. See, this is what's shocking is Beniki is actually playing the game. I mean, you know, he's using various positions to his advantage. Look at Mendoza's eye. Good sidekick right to he the body. He didn't get poked. He got cut. I wonder if that... That could have been a fingernail, though, to the note, to the side yeah. of the note. There's a leg kick that almost First took one. Mendoza down to the ground. Beniki And is, that just fueled Beniki. You can see Beniki. He's oh. stalking. Oh, my gosh. Personally, I would like to see 30 more seconds. <laughs> yeah, they got, they got their work cut out for them in the corner because they're going to have to stop the, the cut there. Okay. It doesn't seem too bad. It's under the eye. It's not above the eye, so it's not going to drip into it. Sit down. Sit All right. Down. As an experienced coach, your, your fighter's in Mendoza situation here. What would you say, Danny? He, he needs the he needs the fine lightning in a bottle. That's what I would tell him. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do, see what they do with that cut there, um, but he, he, you can see he's breathing deep. He is so winded. He well, he tired. needs to fight his fight. He needs to be able to circle around. You've got Beneke, who's moving him back, and Mendoza is fighting Look his fight. Look how poor he's... He's not even breathing hard. You, you know, this, this, this is what's shocking. The difference. This is what's shocking. We've had, so far, two fighters making their debut, and they dominated their the other opponent. Who is the more experienced? This is the third and final round. Let's hear for these fighters! Let's go, Pete! And again, California Fight League bringing the action. We're in the third fight of the evening. Crowd is loving it. We've had three action packed bouts. The crowd's loving it. Uh, looks like they're having a problem there. He has a little equipment. piece of gun sticking out. Yeah. Okay, back to your issue. But look at Beniki, how, how calm he is, how, how composed. And again, he comes out and he begins already just dominating the ring with his. He knows where he wants to be. This is his fight. He's it's amazing waiting. because this is only the second room. Again, shooting. Oh, this is the third. This it's is a third, third and final round. Look at that underhook right across, blocking it. Takes takes him over side position, going to the ground and pound. Mendoza turtling up. That's not going to be successful. Oh, that was a nice reverse elbow, and that probably stopped Larry Landless from stopping that fight. Yeah, that was close. Now, now Mendoza's just holding on. Uh, they're they're going to break this up here soon because there's nothing happening here. Mendoza just seems to be stalling. Uh, Beniki seems to be ready to finish this thing. What an athlete. We talk about this every single time. <laughs> well, people don't realize just how hard this is, you know? Well, these are three two-minute rounds. Two minutes is a really long time when someone's trying look, to take your head off. And look at Beniki, how, how he, he, he has energy right now. Mendoza is, is tired. He's fighting on uh, instincts. But he's not fighting, so he's not setting it up. I, I think I think he's losing a little bit of his composure, a little bit excited. But see how he's leaning on Mendoza, Turn making him, him work. Making him work, yeah. It's just amazing. The fantastic strategy. Oh, that's a good knee to the body. That was. 
solid. You can't you can't take many of those when you're not when you're tired. <laughs> oh, no, you can't. Yeah, especially if you're breathing out. It's like deflating a balloon at that point. Now, now this is the first time I've seen Beniki look tired. He's actually starting to wear down a little bit. And Mendoza is is breathing really really hard here. Oh, there was there a left go. hook right at the end. Mendoza uh. falling over trying to get his breath. Look at Beniki walking back. A little tired. That's a picture of fitness right there. Well, you know, again, I'm surprised by Tyler Beniki. He came in and he showed composure. He showed that, you know, like an experienced fighter, and I can't believe it's his first time in the ring. Well, that's going to be one of the things I'm finding out. <laughs> well, you, you, you find out about that, Lisa, when you go up there, because I am shocked. <laughs> What do you think, Danny, on that? I, I mean, were you were you surprised by that outcome? I, I really was. I, I thought he was going to just jump out at the very beginning, uh, Beniki, and, and rush him. But he was very composed, very uh, patient, waiting for the right time, right moment, and then not wasting a whole lot of energy. But everything he did, he did with, uh, you know, with it. With, with in, with good energy and it was paying off for him. What, 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 you you the, know, the, people talk about fighting an intelligent fight, and to me, Tyler uh, Beniki did that. Exactly. Even when he was defensive, he was leaning on Mendoza. When Mendoza was pushing him up, he was leaning on him. In other exactly. words, you pushing look at the, the exchange the issue of energy and making. Even when there was dead time, which seemed to you know to be dead time to the audience. It was uh, Beniki forcing his weight on his opponent, making his opponent fight back, even though they were just sitting up against the cage, fight back and burn off that energy. And that's what, what tired out uh, uh, Mendoza. Okay, um, we're gonna go up to the ring. Looks like they're gonna announce the winners here. Hey, fight fans, put your hands together for these warriors. Let's hear it. Three hard hitting rounds, indeed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of three hard-hitting rounds, all three judges score this fight 30-27 in favor for the winner by unanimous decision in the red corner, Tyler Beningi. Beningi. And also a round of applause for his opponent, Tyler Mendoza. And now here's Lisa King to speak with Tyler Benicki, the winner. And I'm standing here with the winner, Tyler Benicki. All right, Tyler, I'm looking at your profile. This was your debut, but it doesn't look like it was your first time in competition. Tell us a little bit about your history. Uh, I, I grew a fight on the street. Uh, my dad, you know, he's been doing martial arts his whole fucking life. Excuse my language. PG, PG. Yeah. Um, so I, uh, I picked up that. My, my dad's a black belt. My brother's a brown belt. It's in my family. I'm sorry, you guys. I let the nerves get to me back there. I came out here so tired. Uh, my cardio is much better than that. I, I, I promise next time it'll be a better show. Uh, that, was, that was harder than I thought. Uh, not taking anything away from Tyler Mendoza, man. He's good. I'm sorry, guys. And thank you for all the support. All of Beaumont is here. Listen to that. Listen to that. We sell tickets. Keep us in here. Well, I can tell you on behalf of California Fight League, we loved you. You were highly entertaining. We loved watching you in action. You didn't look tired at all. And we love the fans. And again, your winner, Tyler Bedecky!